Sitting at 33 degrees, still some uh, light snow, at least coming down in the backyard here. The wind's light for the time being. The winds are going to start to pick up, and they're going to start to pull in some of this cold air. We do have a bit of an Arctic outbreak coming our way in the seven day forecast, but before we get to that, we're still dealing with this snowfall. And you can see just more or less pinwheeling right over the metro area right now. That's the low pressure center. It is using up a lot of that moisture that it was pulling from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to see more breaks in the activity as time goes on. But from time to time, you'll see a little bit of light snow coming down in your neighborhood. It might pick up for a little while and then begin to diminish once again. It's really going to be this back and forth scenario, at least for the rest of the evening. We'll get into tomorrow here in just a moment. I want to show you again. This is large pinwheel uh, activity and in fact, blizzard conditions in the Dakotas right now, but it is really drying out up around the Arrowhead far northern Minnesota at this time, which they could use a break from the snowfall, but we'll still continue with the scattered showers around the metro area and even into southwestern Minnesota. Here's a look at that uh, forecast model for the rest of the night. Again, you can see how it continues to just spiral and lift a little to the northeast with time, but even tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, some areas of Minnesota still dealing with uh, scattered snow showers, in fact, around the metro area. So likely some of us are going to be breaking out the shovels tomorrow morning, uh, or you're going to find yourself uh, still dealing with some of the snow covered roads, at least in the neighborhood as uh, the snow showers continue into your Friday morning. The good news is as we head into Saturday, everything starts to then transition over to drying up, but bringing in the colder, colder temperatures. 24 tonight, windy, still the snow showers continue as you saw in the forecast there. And then for tomorrow, warming up just a little bit, we'll get up to around 30 miles and or 30 degrees, excuse me, 30 degrees, but still a bit breezy and those snow showers continue. Here's a look at the rest of the state. Still everybody below the freezing mark, which means we'll be talking about just snow showers and not that wintry mix we had earlier this week. Thank goodness for that. But on the back sides of these systems comes the cold air. Take a look at those numbers by Saturday highs in the 20s. It's teens by Sunday and overnight lows are headed below zero. So here comes that Arctic air pulled in from the north. It does dry out the atmosphere a little bit, uh, but it also means that uh, temperatures continue to fall. Less chance of snow showers, but also watching as we get to the winter solstice there. We're going to be talking about another little uh, clipper that comes through and maybe produces some of that snowfall for parts of Minnesota. Still a number of days out, uh, but again, we're just trying to get through this snowfall today without too much uh, trouble on the roads and then just brace for the bitter cold as it's coming in here very shortly.